If this floats more than 10 seconds... I still have hairy legs! You okay? No. of having a boat. This has been something that he's been wanting for such a long time. He's been working so hard recently. I'm just so, so proud of him. And so I decided to surprise him with the boat Aww. that I'm making out of cardboard. I feel like I should have put that in, in the beginning. Guys, I'm surprising my fiance with a cardboard boat for our pool because he's always wanted a boat. I quarantined myself into this room with all of the paintings. It's still a little bit echo in here. I'm still gonna be trying to be very, very quiet. I told my fiance I'm making a surprise in this room so he probably thinks I'm but naked. waiting on this white rug for him. But I'm not because I'm busy. I'm busy being Bob the motherfucking builder. <laughs> It was a huge scandal of people riding jet skis in their pool and I'm like I'm building a boat for my pool I swear this will not disturb any neighbors If the boat done sinketh, I will only be disturbing myself but Today's video is sponsored by Lifesome Which I'm so freaking excited about Because the only thing better than a boat ride The only thing better than a romantic boat ride Is a boat ride filled with wine, cheese, crackers Just beautifulness Nobody goes on a boat without food If you guys have never heard of Lifesome I'm gonna link them in the description they're considered a nutrition calculating app. Personally, I like to call it my lifesaver because during this move, this has come in so handy. And if you guys don't know, I've been working with LifeSum for quite some time and I use it on an almost daily basis. They also have this function where it calculates how much water you're drinking. So you go into the app and you press a cup for every cup that you drink. And so I feel like the beginning of the day, you always start off like, everybody needs eight cups of water. I can count to eight easy, no big deal. But the difference is you always forget and you always overestimate how much water you're drinking. Also on top of that, my favorite thing about LifeSum is I've actually tried using apps prior to this during when I first started Mukbang. That was mainly when I started using like nutrition calculating apps. And the best thing about LifeSum is that they have an array of Korean food and Korean ingredients that are so easy to use. All the other apps that I tried, I mean, yeah, they have your basics. They've got your Taco Bell. But do they have kimchi jjigae? No, they didn't. They actually have this little smiley face tracker, which honestly motivates me because there's a smiley face or a frowny face or just a regular face for just like all the ingredients that are going into your food and sometimes something might be low calorie but it might be a big fat frowny face because it's high in sodium or it's high in this and so you really really get a good understanding of what you're putting into your body which in thus helps you become healthier maybe some of you guys are vegan or maybe you guys are dairy free and they have different recipes to cater to your needs honestly I started off with the free version and upgraded to premium for their recipes and also because the tips that they give you of whatever goal you want to reach whether it's losing weight or just staying maintaining your health or drinking more water. Thank you so much for supporting today's video and my boat mountain. <laughs> I actually have my iPad because I'm an architect for today. My fiance is an architect. Not really. His personality quiz <laughs> is getting confusing. I am actually going to do a blueprint of this boat because you do not build a yacht. Like if I knew some fancy yacht companies, I want to say Yamaha because that sounds like a yacht company, but it's actually a piano company. You don't build those out of thin air. Is it going to be a sailboat? Is it going to be a speed jet ski? I don't know yet. There's so much power in my hands. I got duct tape. I got box cutters. Also, we're recycling all of our moving boxes and after I'm done with this one I'm probably gonna recycle well my fiance is probably gonna recycle I have my little iPad in front of me and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna build this boat it's gonna be a little bit complex so please try to keep up essentially my motivation and my inspiration is do you guys know how Kylie Jenner just turned Oh, <laughs> did she turn? She just went on a boat vacation for her birthday. And I think it was like a $250 million boat. And I'm gonna make that boat for our backyard for my deserving fiance. Like, she's very deserving, but he is also deserving. So I'm gonna make him the same boat. Aww. And that's where I got my inspo. I'm gonna start kind of drawing out like the floor plan. And I heard the bigger the surface, the better the boat is going to be. I do wanna do like a traditional boat shape just because I feel like if I were to do a floating box, that's just not as cool. Who wants to see this sh in 
a pool like this. You imagine just seeing a box and then me inside of the box. I mean, I guess it's cool because like my boobs are big, but <laughs> it's just not that cool. But then like if I were to put like a, maybe a flag and then I'm thinking we're gonna have the regular boat shape. So I might be aiming high on this one, but I want like a boat peak. Should we have some curved edges guys because that like that helps you gather speed That's why cars are so obsessed with like curved edges. Should I make a sailboat? I feel like oh, I feel like I should I feel like sailboats are classy. I am gonna do some sort of sailing equipment <laughs> Equipment she said and I do want the boat to be I feel like I can't draw it which means I probably can't make it <laughs> Out of cardboard. It's gonna be like that regular boat shape that looks like a Korean cheese corn dog <laughs> like it's gonna be like a canoe. It's gonna be a canoe with the flag. And I'm gonna do like a, maybe a red flag because it's like his thing. Wow, Jack Sparrow, follow me now. It's gotta be big enough for both of us to sit in there so that we can eat cheese and crackers together. It'll be like a romantic Venice Canal experience. Aww. Which one is me? <laughs> this one with the big boobs. Okay, sorry. And like, it's just gonna be so romantic that we're even gonna have clear blue skies. Like, I just want you guys to realize like this boat is so meaningful to us. Like I want you to see the full picture. So that's gonna be our boat. That's the floor plan, that's the project. I'm actually gonna be referring to this page frequently. I'm gonna have it open out and about so that I can keep looking at it. It's just so detailed. And let's get started. These are all recycled moving boxes that we have from moving. This one has a handle. We're gonna utilize this handle somehow. So this is gonna be my main foundation. It's the biggest box that I can find. And I think we're just gonna cut it flat. I'm thinking flat right table and then we'll shape it from there. Why is this the most difficult thing I've ever done in my entire life? <laughs> this box is sturdy. Okay, so this part, it's not like taped, it's like stapled in. <laughs> the video ends here. They just start body slamming the boxes. This is genius. So my main concern was I was worried that if I put this in the water, like these sides are the most water leakage. So this size I kept on and I'm gonna tape it up here on the outside, but I'm also gonna add a layer of tape in here where this part of the box is because I feel like that's just double protection. You know what I mean? This is when I realized I have royally effed up. So that in there looks good. That looks like a good housing environment. This. However, it does not because I put it so close to the crease. This won't hold up properly and I have to make this work. So I'm just gonna need to like double down on the duct tape on this part just because it, if this doesn't fold up, this submerges in water by two inches. I'm talking, this is not gonna be a fun time in this boat, okay? I just realized that I wasn't in frame for any of that. Only my ass was, and I swear that wasn't on purpose. And I think I'm getting fucked up from the smell of duct tape. Does duct tape not stick to the skin? Waxing commercials be like. Well, I guess it doesn't stick to a human skin. What the hell? I still got hairy legs. I just put up the size. <laughs> I might add some boards to here. I feel like even sitting on this right now, it feels breakable. I'm thinking for my boat front appearance, like this, like a pointy, and then have another one connecting this way. I don't know how I'm gonna cut off or make sure it doesn't, like the water doesn't seep in, but we'll figure that out later. <laughs> The next morning. I'm gonna show him the book. I don't think he's seen it because he hasn't said anything about it, but what up? <laughs> Honey, I have a surprise! Okay, hold on. It's, it's a good surprise. You can't say hold on. Wait, actually, can you go to the bedroom? I'm gonna bring it out to the living room. 
living room. Don't look until I tell you to put your sneaking and peeking. I'll punch you. What would you like to be? My view. What else would you love to see? There's only one thing that can make this house a home, honey. Right honey, look. Why does it look like a coffin from the view? <laughs> You're gonna ride this boat on the water? Yeah! In the pool! Like Lake Tahoe! But in a pool! Is this thing gonna float? Yes! It's aerodynamic and everything! It's energy efficient, it takes no fossil fuels, no fuel required, it actually doesn't even take electricity, so Elon must fuck with that! You know? Can you stop judging my boat? Is it not gonna leak? No, it's not! Wow. Okay, I'm actually gonna name this boat right now. Hold on. Look, water's gonna go in there. Okay, kind so, of impressed. Okay. If this flows more than 10 seconds, I will be impressed. I'm in my swimsuit already. Why is this boat no sailing? No, no, nothing. Honey. Did you buy it from Alibaba? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is a made in China I stuff. Your own people, okay. I just wanted to show you guys the inside of this boat because I fell asleep last night inside the boat. No, I'm just kidding. I fell asleep last night and I didn't get to vlog the ending. And I just kind of pretty much taped it up. I mean, I think you guys saw most of it. There's really no science. I mean, what was my biggest motivation and inspiration? I want to say probably like the biggest yacht creators were always an inspiration for me. Wow, you sure made a mess in there. <laughs> it's, kind of it's the cutest thing ever. Okay, You're gonna you tape it up me? here. Look, there's it's gonna leak here. Yeah, yeah, roll your boat. Honey's money. Oh my god, I know what you need to do. What? Here, hold this. What are you trying to do? You should add a bridge in the middle. I didn't get this far in my architectural classes for building boats. Please be careful of your hands, but most importantly, our wood floors. <laughs> oh shit! Whoa, it's a, like it's a speedboat! It's a speedboat! Like yeah, careful of the staples. I hurt myself already. You hurt yourself? Yeah. So you add a. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> we care so much about each other. Okay, fine. While you do this, I'm gonna set up the pool umbrella. Oh my gosh. It is so hot outside right now. It's September, but it's freaking hot. So this is the umbrella that we got from Target. Okay, don't read the warning signs. So here's the Pavel. I think this was damaged a tiny bit during the delivery process because this metal little thing, which is supposed to fit this side perfectly, is just a tiny bit bent right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So this does no longer fit. No matter how much I try to MacGyver it in, it's not gonna fit. Sometimes shit like that happens. It's life. <laughs> that was like the most inappropriate life joke, but it just won't go in. So I'm gonna have to tell him the bad news. Okay, I learned this time. Take anything that can fly into your pool. So, I think on this one, we're going to do... What's like a romantic food, guys? I think we're gonna do some goldfish. Oh. I was gonna go to Whole Foods and buy some cheese and crackers, but you know what? A bitch made a boat last night. <laughs> Me when I'm pregnant. I was gonna, but a bitch made a baby last night, okay? So we've got some leftover Chipotle in here. We've got some Nusa yogurt. This is my favorite. This is very boat ride oh. right? I would take that to a boat ride, a real boat ride. I mean, this is a real boat, right? We've got Nicola, which looks, sounds like a girl's name. I know this doesn't really count. I mean, I my doctor told me that sparkling water does count as your water intake. It just makes you bloated. We've got some sparkling water. I'm gonna add that in as my water count on Life Sum today. And then we've got some Nicola. I'm not gonna add this in as my water count because that's like a like a LaCroix alternative to cola, but it is not water. And then we have this Nusa Mates 
banana chocolate peanut yogurt that I'm gonna add and a pack of goldfish. This is probably the classiest boating trip. And then we've also got some flaming Hot Cheetos that I'm adding into the mix, which I'm so excited about. And this is my fiance's finished lid to my speedboat. Oh my God, it's actually really cute. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I and got you. Fun. Are you having fun? I wasn't having this much fun last really? night. Really? First, like two boxes were fun. This makes me want to. Okay, leave it in the comments if you guys want to see him make a hashtag not spawn Disney cruise cruise ship out of cardboard box. Let the man's dream come true. This guy honestly wants to make it, but he doesn't want to be lame, so he's like, oh yeah, if you guys want to see it. <laughs> But I know he wants to make it. Oh my god, I kind of want to build a house that we can sleep in outside. In the water? No. I repeat, this was not my idea. He gave my merch as our sailing pool. Isn't oh my god. That awesome? It's honestly the best thing I've ever seen, honey. Thank you so much. It's gonna be released on Friday. It's coming soon, guys. <laughs> Oh my god. I have to get in. Oh my god. You know what? Is it gonna ruin it? Seal it out. Go to center, center. Go no. to center. This don't, one. Don't, don't, don't. Catch, catch, catch. Open it. Catch, catch. There's water in there or no? Yes, yes, yes. Wow, this is really badass. As the captain of a boat. How long do you think you can last in there? All night. Seriously? No. As the captain of a boat, I know when my boat is in code red. <laughs> I'm in code red. Do you want to get in? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Are you crazy? Hey. I'm alarmed. You okay? No. I'm so <laughs> Wait, is there water? Can I see? Where? Where's the... Oh, shit. Oh, it looks like it would last a long time. This is really cool. <laughs> Look at that. To go under. Do you want your computer? No. You want to work? Oh my god, we need to buy some actual pool floaties. Pool floaty? This is a pool floaty. It's free. Oh my god, the water is just floating in right now. Where? Where? Right behind you. Oh, no. oh my god. You look funny. <laughs> How much longer you're gonna last? I mean, I'm trying to think of my exit strategy. Like, do I go over there near the stairs? Yeah, I think you should come over here. Can you get over here, please? <laughs> I love sinking. This is what adulthood is. When your boat is just slowly sinking, you feel like your pants are wet, but there's nothing you can do about it. You just keep going. Oh, 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 no. That was a big life trauma. I just experienced. I'm Stephanie Sparrow. And I have conquered land and sea. I just want to see how long this will last, you know? It looks like it's about to break. Oh my god. It just feels like hey, a very. Should I jump in? Honey? Okay, hold on. <laughs> you know what? Don't be judgmental. Dude, this is awesome. Oh my god, it's broken. It's broken. It's broken. You get on now. My captain stays with the boat. The captain never leaves the boat. <laughs> Honey's money is going down. Honey's money is in the red. Oh no. Come on, Captain. Save your boat. <laughs> that has been a fun five minutes. As you guys can see, it's nighttime and the boat is still sinking actively. And he's coming out here to try to fix this umbrella. You got the umbrella? Yes. He said yes. Wow. You know the new movie Hustlers? Yeah. I'm just kidding. 
Do they jump in the pool too? Falls no. into the pool too? <laughs> Stop! Don't get close! Wow, it actually looks so cute with the matching set. I have another poop inside that I'm gonna bring out tomorrow. Goodbye, boat. R.I.P. Honey's money, goodbye. All right, guys, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. I can't believe I made a boat that floats. You were not expecting it. You business were definitely not expecting it, okay? I can already that see pretty, the pretty comments. Epic. That was the most impressive thing that I've ever done in my 23 years of life. How do you feel about the boat? Do you think that he can actually make a better one? He thinks he can make a mega yacht. He thinks he can do multiple bedrooms. You guys wanna see my fiance build his own boat. He thinks he can do it better. What would your name your boat. Give them a teaser. Um, I don't know. Um, maybe. I don't know. Honey, that's <laughs> I gotta go before he gets me canceled. I love you guys so, so much. Make sure to check out Life Stuff. Link to the description. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh.